Ultra low density super materials are beginning to make an industrial emergence, and they have the potential to change structural and insulation design forever. As the nanotechnologies industry continues to advance, researchers are gaining the abilities to produce materials that are 90 to 98 percent air, commonly referred to as aerogels and airloys. If you have any foreknowledge of these materials, you likely know that while they may be low density and strong, they're also very brittle and shatter with a faint touch. This was the common restricting factor to the widespread adoption of aerogels, which have their origins in NASA shuttle research. Aerogels are low-density solids created through the extraction of liquid from a gel to create a substructure through a process called supercritical drying. This supercritical drying process involves converting the liquid in a gel into a gas from the removal of surface tension and capillary stress. This process is essentially only used in the production of aerogels, but it doesn't make aerogels perfect. Most aerogels are super strong in a one-directional distributed loading plane. However, when point loads are placed on aerogels, they instantly shatter. Due to the low density of the material and the incredible insulative properties of air, aerogels maintain some of the highest R values to thickness ratios in the construction industry. To overcome the brittleness problem, researchers developed airloys, which are aerogels that utilize long polymer strands to increase elasticity while maintaining all other properties. With the addition of polymer into aerogels, the brittleness issue is virtually removed. Airloys range in density from 0.01 to 0.9 grams per cubic centimeter. This means they are the lightest solid materials on the planet. All of the nanoengineering that has gone into airloys is in part by NASA and independent researchers. It has resulted in a material that is the world's best thermal and acoustic insulator, as well as having the ability to be electrically insulating or conductive. This super material has been out for the last few decades, but why haven't we seen it used in widespread industrial applications? Like any other new material, the cost is still relatively high, which has relegated it to specific applications in the aerospace industries. Costs are coming down as both the technology improves and the manufacturing costs shrink. Currently, the lowest grade airloy tile available costs about $25 per cubic inch, which is a little pricey in terms of the structural material. Insulation grade aerogel products are much more affordable, and the cost of structural airloy has decreased drastically even in just the last year. The main applications for airloys lie in structural and insulation industries. Airloys can easily hold 20,000 times their own weight without undergoing deformation. These low density polymers can be manufactured in solidified blocks or come in flexible sheets for insulation purposes. To examine airloys in aerogels as structural and insulative materials, it all comes down to their specific application. In areas where a ultra low density structural and insulative polymer meets the design, they may be something to consider. Super materials are known to be pricey and often practically useful. Useless. But as manufacturing improves, the practicality of airloys in design will start to drastically increase.